Hello my fellow YouTubers and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to look at the media creation tool and how we can use this in order to be able to download ISO images onto your PC from the Microsoft website. This can be a very useful tool and it's just another way of being able to get hold of a digital CD that allows us to do installations. So open up your web browser. In your web browser you will type in something like Windows Installation ISO or Windows um, ISO Images or something along those lines or ISO Downloads. And what this will do is this will then take us to the Microsoft website list. Click on the Microsoft website and that will take us into the Windows 11 sections. From there you will then look at the various different uh, parts and in, towards the middle of it you will see Create Windows 11 Installation Media. Click on Download. That will then bring down the media creation tool and from there you will be able to run the tool from your Downloads folder by clicking on the little folder icon, right click on it and run as administrator. This may take a second or two to come up depending on the speed of your PC and the various different uh, other aspects associated your bandwidth and etc. But once this comes up you will see a window that will say getting a few things ready. And this is really going to take you into your license agreement. Please make sure that you do read that. I know that a lot of us get past it. There is a fair amount of very important information to know there especially for deployment. Click on accept. With this what will happen now is it will just continue with uh, what it needs to do in the background and it will then bring up your language section and this is where you have the option to use recommended settings or to be able to choose your own. So if you want to choose your own you just untick the recommended options but we will just retick that and click next. This is where we can deploy onto USB flash drive or ISO file. So we are going to create a, a ISO file. So it will prompt you as to where you would like to now save this. So we'll just go to the desktop to ISO and images because that's a folder created with the previous video. And we'll just call that Windows 11 from a media creation tool or something along those lines. Once you have created the desired name, click save. And when you click save, it will then begin the process. Now I've actually sped this process up quite a bit but you will find that this will take a fair amount of time in order to be able to do and is also subject to things like your bandwidth, the speed of your PC and um, your hardware uh, etc. So you need to be patient here generally speaking but here it's going to be a little bit quicker as it's going to now get all those files ready that it needs to do all of its homework in order to be able to ensure that it can then supply you with the Windows 11 ISO file. Obviously you can keep using your PC at this point in time while this continues and it's really going to go through two stages as we will see momentarily. So progress is now 59% and counting and um, this will just keep going. So as you can see we are now at the 74% mark, the 80% mark, almost there. 90% mark. From here it's just going to verify that the download was correct, that all of the different details etc are what they should be. This is also sped up so this will happen fairly quickly. And once again as it is we're just downloading an ISO image so that we can deploy this onto DVDs, CDs or onto USB flash drives which saves us from having to keep downloading the same file over and over and over again which obviously helps to preserve overall bandwidth especially if you're doing mass deployments and things of that nature. This is also useful because it allows us to store them as backups so we always have them readily available to us. So for example if we need to perform installations that might be off-site etc um, this gives us the ability to be able to do that sort of thing. So we're not fully 100% reliant on downloading it off the internet or it being only being available on the internet for us to be able to install. This gives us a certain amount of legacy support in the future when the new versions of Windows come out. Once that's finished you'll then see in the folder that the Windows has now been downloaded and we can then use that in order to create our installation media. Thank you very much for joining me today and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. 